everyone. Welcome to Intro to Organic Chemistry. I'm Dr. Mona Wabi, and you're in my kitchen. Um, we're going to start off by doing a definition of organic chemistry. Basically, it is the study of hydrocarbons. And what is a hydrocarbon? A hydrocarbon is any molecule that has carbons and hydrogens in it. If you remember from intro chemistry days, carbon has four valence electrons. So what you're going to see is that carbon always has four bonds. It could have four single bonds. It could have two double bonds. Or it could have a triple bond and a single bond. But you'll always see four bonds around carbon. Never five, never three, always four. Now hydrogen, if you remember from intro chem, has one valence electron. So guess how many bonds hydrogen is going to have? Just one. Okay, we'll just have one bond. So when you're looking at something like this, you can put a bunch of hydrogens around this carbon. So this is a carbon with four single bonds to four hydrogens. You obviously can't put a hydrogen here because that would give hydrogen two bonds. So you can't put a hydrogen here. But you could put another carbon here. And you could put another carbon here if you wanted to, right? But then how many more bonds will this one need? Well, it's got two, so it's going to need two more bonds. So you can put a hydrogen here, a hydrogen here. Look at that. This carbon's got four bonds. This hydrogen, one bond, one bond. Well, can we put a hydrogen over here? Obviously not. This is three bonds, so let's put a carbon here. Now, this carbon needs one more bond, so you could have a hydrogen, and you could have a hydrogen over here. Well, what about over here? Well, you can have two hydrogens. My point is, anytime you're drawing an organic molecule, which you're going to be doing, carbon's going to have four bonds, hydrogen's going to have one bond. Okay? Now, what we're going to start doing in this chapter is something called saturated hydrocarbons. Okay, what's a saturated hydrocarbon? That's a hydrocarbon that's completely saturated with hydrogens. There are no double bonds, no triple bonds, all single bonds. So this one over here would be an example of a saturated hydrocarbon. No double bonds, no single bonds, uh, sorry, no double bonds, no triple bonds, only single bonds, and it's got all its hydrogens there. You can see over here that because you've got these double bonds, and this one over here, triple bond, this, these are called unsaturated hydrocarbons. Okay, so in Chem 1060, saturated hydrocarbons right now is chapter 12. And in Chem 1060, unsaturated hydrocarbons is chapter 12. So we're going to focus on the saturated hydrocarbons right now. All right, let me erase this and move along here. I hope you're following along with your what you need to know list because that will help guide you and guide me. So we have seen that carbon can form single, double, and triple bonds. We see at the, we, I gave you a definition of what a saturated and an unsaturated hydrocarbon is. Now we're going to learn how to draw different types of molecules, organic molecules. Now, if you remember in intro chemistry, you used to do something like this. This is called a molecular formula. It tells you that in this formula, there are three carbons and eight hydrogens. Great, but it doesn't tell you how they're connected to each other. 
So in organic, what we would like to do is create structural formulas. And there are different types of structural formulas to show the structure, how everything is connected to each other. So we're going to do structural formulas. And there are three types we're going to learn how to do. Expanded, condensed, and line drawing. Okay, if you lump them all together, all the carbons together, all the hydrogens together, that's just called a molecular formula. But when you want to show the connectivity of the carbons, show where, you know, which carbon is connected to which, where are the hydrogens, those are structural formulas. So we'll start off with the expanded. And in an expanded structural formula, this is what we're going to do now, you're going to show every single bond, every carbon, every hydrogen. So Remember, our, our molecular formula was C3H8. So what we want to do is draw three carbons, OK? This carbon attached to this, attached to this. Now, remembering that each carbon can have four bonds, remember, and each hydrogen just one bond, how many hydrogens do you think are going to go around this carbon? It makes sense that we put three around here, because this is one, two, three, four bonds now. So we're going to put an H, H, H. And then around this one, H, H. But what about this one over here? Wouldn't it make sense to have three over here? Yep, H, H, H. This is an example of an expanded structural formula, where you're showing the connectivity between all the carbons, and you're showing all the hydrogens. Now, if you count all the hydrogens, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, we've got our three carbons and eight hydrogens. Now, if you want to turn this into a condensed, so we got rid of our expanded. You want to do condensed, this is what you do. You take your carbon and you tell me how many hydrogens are around it. You say three, you write CH3, okay? Then you can draw a line and then you write the next carbon, carbon, two hydrogens around it. And then this one over here, carbon, three hydrogens around it. Okay? That's an example of a condensed. Now we get to the line drawing, which most organic chemists use a lot. And this is really cool, actually. And it's, I like to say we use it because we're kind of lazy, but we don't want to start off the semester saying we're lazy or anything. But this is what a line drawing lo looks like. Each carbon is denoted by a dot, OK? And we're going to do this zigzag line to show the structure. Now, if you remember from intro chem, carbon that has four areas of electron density around it has a tetrahedral geometry, remember that? Well, when you have that tetrahedral geometry, you end up having um, not a straight line. It looks more like a zigzag line. So when you're doing this molecule, C3H8, you don't put dot, line, dot, line, dot, line. You do dot, zig, dot, zag. So this is a line drawing. This is condensed, and this is expanded. These three represent this molecule over here. Okay? Make sense? 